bring the bishop through, could take the knight off the board. All simple stuff at this minute. Could take the knight. Might be a bit smoother. Uh, bring the bishop through. Could. I think a simple capture is going to be all right. Where is this queen going? We can challenge the queen to the pawn. Challenge the queen with the queen up for an exchange. They're probably not going to exchange though because they're higher level. I think he's just going to take the pawn. Let's see if we can get the queen off the board. You don't take it. So if we can get the big guns off the board, then it kind of equalizes the situation in terms of presence on the board. I don't think they're going to take it because they're a higher rated player. They're just about to hit 1600 if they win this match. So I don't think they'll be exchanging down. They don't want any equalization. So we can x-ray through to the queen here. I know they wouldn't exchange. But are we, are we winning a tempo positional here? Because our white square bishop's looking to attack their white square bishop as well. Let's x-ray through. Get the bishop off the back, attacking their bishop. Maybe the knight coming through, attacking their knight. It's moved off the x-ray, but it gives us tempo to maybe attack their bishop, I think. Could, oh, let's go for another exchange. Oh, can the queen get to it? Can the queen get to it? Another attempt. Um, oh. Let's attack the bishop. Bishop's got no protection on, but we can try and look to go for an exchange. But the knight is actually blocking that square as well, so we can't go for the queen exchange just yet. But if they're asleep, we can take the bishop off the board. Bishop's moved. How do we get to their queen? Maybe we just bring the white square bishop out, attack their bishop. Pawn's in the center by itself. If he doesn't take, we can move the bishop to attack the queen, but the knight will take, but at least we're getting the minor pieces off the board. So we're trying to get pieces off the board strategically. That's part of the mantra. I'm doing nothing special, got to reiterate that. I'm just very squinchy, you know, play, play especially on the, oh, nice one. Let's take, so it opens up the rook in front of the file in front of their queen. That's one less, please protect him. We're trying to go for a queen exchange, but I can't fit the queen in. I think a rook's going to have to go. It's attacking our pawn that's got no protection on. I'm going to x-ray through. And we're protecting the pawn now with the rook. So potential for taking the knight off the board and getting the queen off if the queen's going to be taken. Ooh, there you go. Oh, we could have dropped down to attack the queen, but the knight is protecting the damn square.
let's keep on this if we get the knight we get the pawn as well if the pawn takes see the thing with these games you know you think you got a plan set and then the opponent does you don't they do stuff you don't expect constantly fighting back all the time it's uh, quite quite annoying really but almost character building in a way so let's have a look knight 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 could go and attack there knight got support of all the pawns rook could come through and x-ray through to the queen it's probably going to look for that cheap and dirty tactic one isn't it with the queen moving to the what is that the g3 and the bishop coming round and attacking the pawns potentially looking for that line but it's beneath them for their rating but I think that's potentially what they're going to be looking at doing it won't surprise me queen G ooh what's this oh the queen's protecting the knight so we're not going to get it for free but we could still take and go for the exchange because we want to get the queen off the board or is there something better? You could get the rooks on the F facing the queen. Just take the knight with the bishop. Doubles the pawns. I don't think the queen will take though if the bishop takes. I don't think they want to get rid of their queen based on what we've seen. file for the rooks but I'm thinking the bishop needs to be taken that night. There is nothing else I see. This is bishop cooking. Yeah, the queen's not taken. Exactly. Straight away took with the pawn. Now we can attack the queen look for the exchange we're really trying to harass this um, queen but I think we probably sent it to the um, g3 where it wants to go for his GP with the bishop now that I'm thinking about it who can just move the king oh I'll bring the knight up and attack the queen attacking the bishop as well Hmm. Oh, they've gone for the exchange. Why let him get his pawns in line? Attack his bishop. Not exchange it on your terms, matey. Let's exchange on our terms. Improve our position. Let's move the bishop. We can still take his queen off the board. <laughs> that was a little bit arty and fancy. I mean, that brings our pawn in line if the bishop does take. We could just take this queen off. I don't really have a problem. Oh, oh, we could actually attack his rook queen with our rook. Or is that being too arty? You see, now I'm getting all arty now. I probably should have just taken the queen off earlier. Hmm. I'm going with Artie. I'm going with Artie. Let's play them at their own game. That's what I'm thinking. Doesn't want to give up the Queen. Let's not give ours up. Let's do it on our terms. We're only... Oh! Baby, that's what we're talking about. So that feels hefty for me now, I think. Because we're owning a file. Oh, he's gone back blocking, but I don't. 
Our knight can get into some action, can move the king across support in the rook. Yeah, we could get yeah, and take him off. Now we're, I think we're in a decent position. Get the king supporting maybe. Got this pawn on the far side. Bishop's looking to, he's looking hungry. Do we win a tempo if he does take? Rook could go up to the back and attack their back pawns. We could allow that. Move the, move the knight. Move the knight. And then bring the rook up to the back while the bishop's greedy munching. Or do we... Uh, what's happening in here? space for the knight. Knight's got a bit of an escape route if need be, which he's probably going to need. So we can come back and back. We we'll have to accept a draw. Doesn't look like they're going to accept a draw. Okay, fine. So a higher rated player obviously thinking, well, I'm not going to accept a draw against a lower rated player. Obviously in the back of my head I'm going, well, I hope you rule the day that you didn't accept the draw. Because it doesn't look like a clear win to me from them. Alright, let's 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 kick it in. Alright, so we could block the pawn up. We could just move the G pawn up or the H pawn anything just get them onto white squares could keep these ones on the back on dark squares if because obviously they're supporting each other so let's just push these up and uh, block this area off i'm not seeing the win i know he's got the bishop and they say that the bishops are slightly better than the knights in the end game but it all depends who's playing with them and i'm a knight well i am a knight man but i'm happy with both let's bring this king up here this looks like a fairly straightforward end game to a draw but if they make a mistake I think we could quite easily go for a win we have a flexible knight which can jump all over the place let's just go for these blockages and their bishop has just got one diagonal to work on so in this type of end game I'm just feeling fairly confident that they should have probably accepted the draw or they might offer the draw again. Well, they might offer me the draw this time. So safely on white squares there. And if it takes, well, we can block down this now because we're all on white squares. On the HG and F side of things, let's just block that down. Right, don't want to be too quick and knee jerky now because this bishop can fly around the side. But I don't think it's going to get to the A, B, and C side to attack them pawns. Or maybe it will. Okay, so that's all locked down now on F, G, and H. So what do they expect to do from here? We've got a flexible knight. Take time, take time. Right, shush. his king from side to side is that not draw mentality put a check on the king just let him know we have a flexible knight get the pieces off the board so if his bishop takes we just take with the pawn and it does so we take so now we've got more access to getting a passer on this a b and c don't need to take that pawn, I can just push past. 
fix King can't stop that pawn because the pawn is blocking the square he wants to go to. Only piece he can move now is the king, so he has to move the king away from the pawn and we take it and we take it. So they should kind of resign at this point in time, but they're not going to either. Just bring the king down now and attack his pawn here, because all he's going to be doing is moving his king backwards and forwards. I suppose I could push the pawn up and bring the king. I don't like stalemates, but I don't know if it, I don't think it's a stalemate, is it? I'm risking it, I don't know. I, I'm just going to attack the pawn. It probably isn't, but I'm not going to do all this work and then for it to be a stalemate. Let's just grab this and then just unify the pawns going up and they should resign really now, shouldn't they? Oh, they're still looking for the stalemate type thing the two pawns up but there's no issues there's no rush uh, yeah and they've resigned 